Hebrews 13, 5. It says, He will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Ever. You love the Lord, He will never, ever leave you or forsake you. Amen. Hebrews 11, 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please Him. And he that cometh unto God must believe that He is God. And He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. A rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. What is it to diligently seek God? It's to be in the Word of God. It's to be in the prayer. Each and every day. Man, that is so, so very important. You know, Daniel set uh, an awesome example in the book of Daniel where the, the king had sat down and decreed that they were not to worship any other god or anything for 30 days. So you know what he did? He opened up the windows where everybody could see him and he worshiped God three times a day. That's right. He got up in the morning, he worshiped God and prayed. Lunchtime, he worshiped God and he prayed. Before he went to bed, he worshiped God and he prayed. You ought to give that a try one time and see how that works for you. It's awesome. It's an awesome, awesome thing. All right, verse 6. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or whether we be uh, comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And that's what it comes down to. Is it worth it? Y'all have often heard me say, put in the work now. Yep. Put in the work now. And secure your spot in the kingdom of God today. It is absolutely worth it. Because we have the victory. We know how the book ends. We will have eternal life, folks. It is most definitely worth it. All this trouble we go through is for your faith. Does it not make you a little bit stronger each and every time you overcome something in your life? Does it not increase your faith? Yes. Of course it does. We are trying to bring salvation to others who are lost in the world today. And man, I'm going to tell you something. They are starving to death for it. 